Hey, hey, my pretties. How are you all, everyone? How's your day? How's your weekend? Hope you're having a fab time. Thought I'd jump on, say hi, and see how you all are. Let me know if you're around. Say hello and tell me what's up. What's been happening? Oh my goodness, as you can see, I've titled my um, video Rejection Equals Death of Your Dreams. Harsh maybe, but the truth. Let's, we're all about the truth here, right? Hey, hello. Hey, Amanda. Thank you for joining me. So good to see you. And yeah, so this is a big recurring theme that I'm seeing a lot. Hey. <laughs> I am seeing this so, so, so much. Think about it. How many dreams die? How many desires die of yours when you feel rejected? When you feel like your opinion is rejected, your ideas, your thoughts, who you are, your very existence. Um, you know, all of these things, when we, we are feeling rejected by someone or something, it really allows our dreams to die. They go to the dream graveyard somewhere <laughs> where they never take off, right? They never ever take off because someone said something to us that put us down in some way, rejected what we were doing in some way, told us that we weren't good enough. And so we believed them. That is the problem. That is the absolute problem here is that this recurring theme that I've seen with um, some clients lately, this is the same thing is that it's actually the problem isn't the rejection from other people or other things. It's actually when we look at a deeper level, it's rejection of the self. And so what's happening, we're seeing that mirrored back to us in some way. You're absolutely rejecting yourself. You're rejecting your own dreams and desires because if you can't stand behind what you want, if you can't be strong enough to go, I don't give a shit what anyone else thinks. This is what I want and I think it's awesome and this is what I'm going for. Then if you can't do that, then you're going to allow all of those outside forces to contract you and crush your dreams and they'll go out to the dream graveyard, right? And we don't want that. And that is coming from rejection of the self. Okay, you are rejecting parts of you. You're rejecting your desires. You're rejecting your dreams as they're not important or they're too hard or you're not enough in some way or you're not worthy in some way. Or another big thing is confusion. Like, I don't know what I want to do. Not giving yourself permission to really take a stand and go, well, actually, if I really look deep enough, I do know what I want to do, but I'm just too friggin' scared to say what it is. Let's be honest here for a moment. If you haven't got what you want, if you aren't making the money, having the clients, the business, the success, the whatever it is that you, that you want, it's because you're not giving yourself permission. You are rejecting parts of yourself. You're rejecting parts of your dreams and desires as not important or too hard or that you don't know. That's a huge one. I don't know what to do. It's like, yes, you do. You've just never given yourself permission to really be honest and go, well, actually, if I had to be honest and I dug really deep, and I was totally honest with myself, I really love to do this thing, but I'm a bit embarrassed about it, or I think it would be too hard, or how could I make money from that, or you know, whatever, whatever excuses, implant them there, right? That's what happens. We are literally denying the very desires, the deepest, deepest desires of our hearts through some excuse or belief around that it's not possible or it's too hard or we're not worthy in some way. And so that is the problem. Rejection outside of us always comes from that we're rejecting some part of ourself. Always. When you lose a job, when someone tells you that you're not doing a good job or that you're not suited to something or that you're not worthy of something or you'll never make money doing that thing, 
that's all coming from the belief that you're not worthy of that. It's actually not coming from that person at all. They're just mirroring that back to you, that belief that already exists like a big, heavy lump of stone inside you. It already exists within you. Yeah, is this making sense? Is this resonating? Because this is a huge one that so many people have. Okay, we have all had it at some time. We're all human. We've all had this at some time or in some shape or form in our lives where we contract and where we stop doing the thing we loved or we stop pursuing something or following something, right? Yeah, yeah, I thought it would be resonating big time. The bells are ringing, right? And it's like a big aha. Because when you start to go, oh my God, like how many times, yeah, have I been rejecting, have I rejected something because of someone else, what they've said or done? Because really inside me, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it was possible. I don't believe I can really make money doing that. You know, I don't, I think it's just like so hard or maybe I'm too old or too young or too whatever. And so I can't do that. It's just impossible. And remember when we're superhuman, nothing is impossible or improbable. We eat that for breakfast, right? <laughs> we eat the impossible and the improbable for breakfast. Hey, right? and that's not even lunchtime yet. <laughs> it's gobbled up, it's gone. Okay, <laughs> we, we're not doing the normal, right? We're doing the things that look totally improbable. That's what we're doing. And so we have to stop this rejection of self, of ideas, of opinions, of dreams, of fantasies, of goals, of desires. Deep, deep in our heart, in our cells, in our body, we have to stop rejecting it. Because if we don't, my God, if you can't make a stand for yourself, then no one else is going to. If you're waiting around for someone to tell you how great you are and giving you permission for something or saying, hey, you should do that or here, I'll give you some money for that, you will be a skeleton, right? Like that meme, the skeleton in the rocking chair, right? <laughs> you will be that person if you're waiting. No more waiting. If you want something, you have to clear out that crappy old program of self-rejection and you have to take a stand for yourself and you have to believe in yourself and your wants and desires and your passions as they are worthy. They are attainable, right? They are, no matter whether it seems hard, no matter whether it takes to your dying breath till you've left this planet, do you want to be someone with regrets? Do you? You know, do you want to be someone who's a shell of themselves living just like a half life and someone who just dreams and wishes and hopes, oh, well, when I win the lotto, that'll be nice, you know, it's like, no, you don't. You want to be someone who digs deep now and listens to what's within them, the passions and the desires of their heart, that the soul is crying out for you to follow, for you to choose every day. You choose you. Choose your desires and passions, right? And then everyone else will. And the people that don't, who cares? They will go away. <laughs> they will go away. When they know they can't affect you, they will just fall away. And all of those things that come up, right? All those experiences that pop up to reflect that rejection or that lack of approval or permission, they'll just fall away because you don't care because you approve and you've given permission and you're accepting of yourself. And so you march forward one day at a time, foot in front of the other, you keep going. Okay. And that is how you will start creating what you really want in life. And so if you're not, you've got some hard looking to do, some really deep reflection, getting honest with yourself. Okay. And when you say, I don't know, Helen, I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. What if you did? Ask yourself that question. What if I did really know? 
what would I choose? What if right now I did know? There was no one to tell me the answers. There was no one or nothing to figure out. I knew. What would that be? It's a great journaling question for yourself. Even just journaling out loud. I like journaling out loud, not on paper. Um, do that. Ask yourself these questions and see what comes up. And you might surprise yourself. Okay, you might really surprise yourself with going back to something that you really enjoyed or you loved early on in life that you've neglected or you rejected in some way. Okay, and let me know how you go. Let me know how this reflection helps you and helps shift your life and what you want from life. Okay. I love you guys. I am going to be talking to you again really soon. As always, if you have any questions or anything, just drop me a DM or put it in the comments here. I love to hear from you. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.